So this is a tutorial on how to create a local SEO report inside Search Atlas. You're going to want to click the local SEO tab at the top and then search for the business in question. You can also adjust the search area. With this drop down, you can do localization. So you can set this to New York, New York City, Queens County, etc. <laughs> so we're going to set this to New York and we're going to look up a business therapy group of NYC. Please note that it can take a little bit of time to finish that initial search. Um, so don't click out until the listing is loaded. You're then going to find your business. You're going to click it, hit create local project. You're going to see a success message here. And then you're simply going to start adding the keywords you want to track. So then you're going to go ahead and click add keywords. It's going to take you to the local SEO heat map. You're going to set up your keywords therapy near me. You can adjust your grid. The default is going to be three by three, depending on how broad of a segment you want to track. You can update that. I typically set it to five by five, but you can set it to whatever grid radius you want. <clears throat> and then you're going to set a proximity of how far away from the center location you want the report to fetch, right? So I'm going to set this to two miles. Actually, I'm going to set this to one and a half miles. <clears throat> and then refresh. I'm going to do daily, weekly, or monthly. I'll do daily. Please note that you only add one keyword. You don't add multiple keywords separated by commas. You do one keyword at a time. You run the local scan, you add another keyword, run another scan, right? So <laughs> NYC therapist, therapy, right? So what I'm doing here is just adding one keyword at a time <clears throat> and allowing the tool to fetch a grid radius and a refresh interval for each individual keyword that I've added. It's going to give me a center position, an average position, a best position, and a worst position. <clears throat> and you can see it took just a couple seconds to kind of fetch that. And <clears throat> now you can click into each one. So if we click therapy near me or any of the other ones, we hit view. Now we're going to be able to see what the local heat maps look like for this particular business in this particular location at different intervals um, in, in the grid, right? And when you click into each one, it's going to adjust the listings here on the left-hand side. And that's how you create a local heat map. Uh, based off your refresh interval, at the top level here, you're going to get date tracks, right? So this is October 8th. It'll fetch again October 9th. It'll fetch again October 10th, so on and so forth. And all I would do is click on the date at the top here to, uh, to kind of monitor how the rankings are changing over time. You can share this report as a publicly shareable URL, or you can simply export it to a PDF and share it with your client as well. Thank you.